So here they are added over here to my Snyderverse shelf. Had a bit of an accident when I was putting the Aquaman stuff together today and I haven't fully uh, had to fully redo the, the display, but uh, it's looking pretty good in my opinion. And uh, yeah, and that's how we cap off the Snyderverse. And this is how it ends. This is the end of the Snyderverse. You know, it's a, it's a little bittersweet for me because I actually like the Snyder films. Um, I do, I, I mean, I do think that uh, Batman v Superman was a lot better with the Ultimate Edition. Snyder Cut was uh, a good Justice League movie. The, the Justice League, I can see some merit in it. And there are a couple of things from the Justice League that I prefer over the Snyder Cut. But overall, I think the Snyder Cut was a uh, far superior film. And it was a fun universe. I really wanted to see how things uh, continued with that uh, with that story. Uh, at least uh, see it end. Uh, I mean, we already know the ending. Uh, Snyder's talked about it. But it would have been nice to, to see it happening on screen. Um, for those who don't know, uh, what was going to happen was... Well, um, the Nightmare Timeline had been created by uh, Superman... Uh, becoming uh, basically a herald to Darkseid, succumbing to the anti-life equation because he no longer had uh, Lois Lane in his life. Uh, Lois died um, in the invasion of Apocalypse on Earth. Um, Superman gave up the will to live and left his and leaving his heart open to um, becoming a uh, herald to Darkseid. And uh, Batman was one of the only people left standing after a big war. And he was fighting underground behind the scenes, trying to get things going. He started up his own little uh, renegade team. I you, you guess you could call it the Nightmare Justice League. And it was himself, Cyborg, Flash, Mira, uh, the Joker. Well, I, I don't think the Joker was a part of it. He just kind of tagged along at the end. But uh, Deathstroke as well was, was on there. And... Um, in their crusade, they uh, found a way to travel back through time, and uh, uh, that was Barry's job. And so he does that. He travels back through time, which you see in Batman v Superman. Uh, so what you're seeing is, in essence, uh, not how the story starts uh, when you're watching uh, Batman v Superman. Uh, that is uh, a branch timeline. And so Flash shows up, he, uh, and then he plants a seed in Bruce. Listen to me now! It's Lois! It's Lois Lane! She's the key! Uh, and then we were going to see how things turned out, but because of executive meddling, the art, the story that Zack Snyder and David Ayer and all those other people that were make, that were making didn't didn't happen, and so it's a, it's a bit of a shame. I understand why. I mean, uh, the executives get uh, antsy because things aren't making money, and if you don't have money, how are you going to fuel the art to begin with? It's a it's a very um, tenuous relationship that art and money have with each other. <laughs> Uh, it's a shame with uh, with Snyder, um, his uh, his vision didn't make a lot of money. It well, uh, it did, but didn't make as much money as the executives foresaw, and so um, the art doesn't keep going. And with some with the art that they're trying to churn out with these movies, uh, it uh, it's expensive. So it's, uh, it makes sense that he wouldn't have the resources to finish his vision. Um, and then you see executive meddling all over the place and it boils down to the Flash movie that we got. I still thought the Flash was a, the, a good movie. Uh, it wasn't amazing or anything, but it was, it was good. It was fun. I liked it. Ezra Miller, their antics really did uh, kind of put the final nail in the coffin for the DCEU. 
I mean, Vaslo is thinking about uh, moving forward. And I really do think that if the Flash had done well, uh, we, we, we could have seen at least one more film in the Snyderverse uh, past Aquaman, but they didn't. And so uh, they went and they pulled an audible and they changed up how Aquaman was supposed to be outside of the Amber Heard stuff and they cut her role. I mean, the, the the movie Swiss cheese. I mean, I, I wasn't surprised when I heard that the critics weren't liking it. And when you make a movie with a certain storyline in mind and then you go and you, you make something else and try to piece something else together, new reshoots, I mean, it, it's not going to turn out good. But uh, it falls with a whimper. What a shame. Uh, perhaps Jason Momoa still has a job with the DC Universe. Uh, the rumors are he's going to be Lobo. So good on him if that's the case. Uh, real shame that we didn't get to see uh, the Ben Affleck movie. And uh, because my channel didn't exist during the, the Flash movie, uh, I'll go ahead and give my, uh, my two cents on that film. Uh, I actually uh, see it as a, in a way, a, a cool, that is the true ending to uh, the DCEU. Because in essence, uh, that movie shows that Bruce's plan, the Nightmare Bruce, Nightmare Batman, his plan worked. He was able to go and send Barry back in time to talk to Bruce, which started a chain reaction of events. I'm too soon! I'm too soon! I think that they might have had to do that twice. Uh, I like to think that the Justice League is the first attempt at fixing the timeline. And so my, uh, my headcanon is that uh, one of the times they tried, it created, it did change the timeline a little bit, but not enough. It still led to the nightmare timeline existing. And that, uh, they did lead things almost in the right direction. Uh, and uh, that is what created the Justice League movie. That is one of the attempts that Batman and all those guys in the Nightmare Timeline did to avert the nightmare. Didn't work out. But you know, like with the spaghetti that uh, Michael Keaton's Batman explains in the Flash movie, you see some ripple effects happening. And so you see that uh, events happen slightly differently. Some events happened in the Justice League that didn't happen in the Snyder Cut. Um, you see that Steppenwolf in this universe looks completely different. You know, that, that ripple effect that... Uh, Flashpoint happen, has in all iterations, affects past, present, and future. So, uh, so they went and they, they tried again. And uh, when they tried again, this time they created the Snyder Cut universe. Well, the universe that branches off from Zack Snyder's Justice League. And uh, with that, we see uh, Steppenwolf looks different. Made the, the ending that we saw for Zack Snyder's Justice League. And that ties into the uh, Shazam movies and that ties into the uh, the Flash movie and in that movie <clears throat> so uh, Bruce Nightmare Bruce's uh, actions started chain reaction of events that led to Flashpoint and that led to Ezra Miller's Flash Barry Allen getting lost somewhere in the multiverse and um, to, just a headcanon things and make it so that you're not wondering, hey, is he ever going to come back? Is, uh, is that Barry he ever going to come back? And I'm going to guess no. Uh, I think that uh, Barry just landed somewhere that was close enough to his original timeline. And he's just going to stay there and stay put and not mess with things anymore because he doesn't want to cause any issues. But because he did that, things changed drastically in the Snyder Cut universe. And the Flash movie showed uh, that basically uh, Nightmare Bruce won. He was able to change things enough that uh, now the impending war with Darkseid and all that is not going to happen. And I like to see the Flash as kind of a happy ending for the Nightmare timeline. They were able to avert it. None of it ever happened. Um, things happened in a way so that... Uh, the Justice League is united, and just like they do in the comics, when Darkseid tries, they they win. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, in the end, farewell, uh, Snyder vs. DCEU.
Thanks for the, the fun memories, DCEU. Uh, you'll be missed. And bring on the Gunverse. I'm really excited. Uh, I am a little concerned with how many characters are in the upcoming Superman movie. Um, time has shown a lot that uh, juggling a lot of characters in a movie is, uh, is dangerous. And uh, even though I liked Guardians 3, I do feel like uh, it was uh, rushed a little bit. And um, I really, I mean, James Gunn did that movie. So I'm hoping that it doesn't carry some of that over and just pack in a lot of characters. I mean, like uh, the whole Astro thing with the dog. I mean, it wasn't really fleshed out at all. Like, oh, you got a dog now. All right. I don't, I don't remember his name, but the Ravager who, was, who, was, who took Yondu's place. He got some character arc scenes, but the story itself, he didn't really get a story. I mean, he was just like, oh, at the end of the last movie, he took up the whistle and, and the arrow thing. And and then we had like three scenes of him. And look, at the end of the movie, uh, he, he can whistle now and he, he did it. And it just, it really wasn't, you're able to make it look like it was something, but it really wasn't anything. Uh, and then like, oh, and then we got Michael Rooker back for a one second cameo as Yondu. Um, probably paid him $50,000 or something just to show for one second and do makeup for a few hours. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, thanks for hearing my rant about uh, the state of the DC universe. And, uh, oh, final thing. Please remember to put a comment in the comments section if you are wanting to be part of the giveaway. The giveaway right now, once we hit 50 subscribers, is for the first appearance Superman from McFarlane's Collector's Edition line. And will be randomly picked through an algorithm based on comments. Uh, so the stipulations are 50 subscribers with those who have commented will be picked. And the reason for that is uh, YouTube does not allow me to have a full list of everyone who has subscribed. So instead of going by the list, the partial list of subscribers I have, to be fair, I'm going to go based off of comments. So uh, if you if you want that consideration, here's your opportunity. Put that comment down here. Also, if you go ahead and press a like, if you did like the video, that really does help with the algorithm. You know, the same hoopla all other content creators or, or wannabe content creators put down like me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're just trying to make this thing work out. Thank you all very much for being part of this channel and for viewing and i look forward to seeing you in the next video